All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Joshua Carton from Curian here to talk to you about waveform acquisition with the N2 Neuron. So here on the screen, you can see that we are currently hooking up the N2 Neuron and it's already been connected to the app, but we are gonna be connecting our volts uh, port here through our red cable to the positive side of a circuit and the black side, common side to the ground. Now, in the way that the board is designed, everything's running off of this main ground feed, so uh, that's why this works here. However, uh, similarly to whatever circuit you would be testing, you want to make sure that you're on the ground side of it and the positive. Now, we are connected to a peak-to-peak -peak signal that is, uh, I believe, anywhere between 6 and 8, uh, six and eight volts peak-to-peak -peak at 800 hertz. And so as you saw, we just connected the volts. So we were on volts DC, we went into graphing, and now we are going into the config mode, and we are going to be changing the speed, the acquisition rate at which the N2 is acquiring the signal. Now automatic is gonna be at about 125 hertz. I believe we just changed it to 1000 hertz. And you can already start to see some differences in what's going on. Now we did turn on buffer mode, which is the big difference. And I want to talk to you a moment here about buffer mode. Buffer mode is the actual raw live reading coming through the N2. It is the non-calculated data. So as we can continue to see here, we are actually seeing the signal go up and down, jumping from its uh, three volts to about nine, 9.5 volt peak there. What I went ahead and just did on the screen is I, I upped our frequency or our sample rate from 1000 hertz to 4000 hertz so we can get a better, more clean image of what we were looking at. And as you can see here, we're able to a lot faster pick up the signal and see the uh, more than just the spikes, see the flat lines where it's holding at that nine volt. Now, on the config button that I just pressed, I was attempting to turn off the manual ranging and also the, uh, obviously we're still in buffer mode here, um, but I did not actually press it. Here we go. So now I am in manual uh, ranging so I can zoom in and out on the particular signal. I can watch how long the signal stays at three volts. I can go up and watch it how long it stays at nine volts. In the RMSing that the meter side does, of course I would read in at the six volts. Um, you know, here because we're on manual ranging as well, we can, and you see me pop in there for a second, we can actually see these. They all line up with the figures so we can look at the on times, the off times and uh, take a look at that together. So there it is. There is signal acquisition for you with the N2 neuron. You would do this with any signal under 8,000 hertz. Uh, and again, you can manually range in there. You can set up the data points you have on the screen. And uh, you know here you can actually see the RMSing back at it 6.5, 6.9, right in there. That's where that, that little circuit board we have under there is doing it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and help. Please do feel free to call us, email us, or join the community. You have yourselves a great afternoon. Bye-bye.